But I did at one point just go, all right, that's enough. I've got to stop. Yeah. I have to be professional. That's enough. So what we do know about Matthew's day is that prior to his death and our sincerely friends loving one another, crying together. And while Hollywood continues to mourn, fans are remembering the beloved actor. Tracking those live outside Warner Brothers Studios in Burbank where the iconic Friends sitcom was filmed. He was, the, to me, the funny, as funny as he was on Friends, and he was, and other things too. In person, he was just the funniest man. He just lived to laugh. All of the surgeries he's had to go through to recover from that addiction. Singer Adele has described Matthew as one of the greatest comedians of all time. In the entertainment world, some stars shine so brilliantly that they become an integral part of our lives. Matthew Perry was one such luminary, known and cherished by millions around the globe for his portrayal of the witty and lovable Chandler Bing on the iconic television series, Friends. Matthew Perry, the famous actor known for his role as Chandler Bing on Friends, the TV show that made the whole world laugh, has passed away at the age of 54. His recent passing has cast a somber hue over the entertainment world, leaving fans and colleagues alike in mourning. In this reflection, we explore the indelible mark he left on the industry and the hearts of those who adored him. A sitcom and was such a big part of such a big show, but really became the character that felt like home for all of us. He was the one that everybody could really relate to, whether he was making you laugh or making you cry. And then the way that he was so open about his struggles through the years was really, really something that showed that he, you know, wanted to help other people. If you're a 90s kid, you would sure remember the iconic comedy show Friends. The bond that the Friends cast shared on screen was nothing short of legendary. And off screen, their friendship was just as heartwarming. The news about the passing of Matthew Perry has sent shockwaves to the fan base and Hollywood. Regarded as one of the beloved stars of the iconic show, the world witnessed an outpouring of emotions from the rest of the cast. I was here for 11 years. 11 years. It was incredible driving here and, you know, it was, it was, I miss everybody and, it, you know, I really do. We all love each other and yeah. I missed everybody and um, it was incredible driving here. You know, we, had, <laughs> we, had, we just had such a good time. It was a moment that transcended the screen and gave fans a glimpse into the real life camaraderie that made the show so endearing. According to TMZ, Perry was discovered in a jacuzzi at his home. It was reported that the cause of death was drowning. There were no drugs involved and they didn't suspect any foul play. Instead, they report that he was found in his own home by his assistant, who had been running an errand. Just the day before, he had been enjoying a two-hour game of pickleball, so it's unclear whether the reports of drowning are accurate. In 2023, Perry had even published his memoir titled Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. His unexpected departure has left his fans and the world in shock. Warner Brothers has released a statement regarding the beloved star saying, We are devastated by the passing of our dear friend Matthew Perry. Matthew was an incredibly gifted actor and an indelible part of the Warner Brothers television group family. The impact of his comedic genius was felt around the world, and his legacy will live on in the hearts of so many. This is a heartbreaking day, and we send our love to his family, his loved ones, and all of his devoted fans. A spokesperson for the Los Angeles Police Department informed that officers were dispatched to Perry's residence in response to a report concerning the death of a man in his 50s. However, they did not confirm the identity of the deceased. They confirmed, we responded to the 1800 block of Blue Sail Road for a death investigation on a male at 4.10 p.m. this afternoon. He was in his 50s. It was informed that foul play was not a factor and their sources indicated that first responders were summoned to the residence due to a reported case of cardiac arrest. According to law enforcement insiders, the actor returned home in the morning following a two-hour pickleball session. Reportedly, the actor sent his assistant on an errand shortly after returning home, and upon the assistant's return, Turn approximately two hours later, Matthew Perry was discovered unresponsive in his jacuzzi. Currently, it remains uncertain whether physical activity played any part in Matthew Perry's passing. However, 
TMZ reported that an investigation into his death is in progress. Law enforcement sources also confirmed Perry's passing to the Los Angeles Times. The Friends cast, as well as Matthew Perry's colleagues, have expressed their deep condolences through heartfelt posts on their Twitter and Instagram accounts. They've taken to social media to pay tribute to Matthew, lauding him as not only a fantastic friend, but also an outstanding co-worker. Maggie Wheeler, renowned for her role as Janice, Chandler's unforgettable girlfriend on Friends, shared an oh my god reaction, saying that the happiness Matthew Perry brought to countless lives during his all too brief time on this earth will continue to resonate and live on. She shared a picture with Matthew on the set of Friends captioned, what a loss. The world will miss you, Matthew Perry. The joy you brought to so many in your too short lifetime will live on. I feel so very blessed by every creative moment we shared. In the meantime, Christina Pickles, who portrayed Matthew Perry's on-screen mother and the erotic novel writer Nora Bing, expressed her deep sorrow on Twitter, stating, I'm heartbroken about the untimely death of my son, Matthew Perry. The loss of such a brilliant young actor is a shock. I'm sending love and amp condolences to his friends and amp family, especially his dad, John Bennett Perry, who I worked with on Flamingo Road and Amp Falcon Crest. Hashtag RIP Matthew. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who had a personal connection with Matthew Perry from their earlier years when Perry's mother worked as an aide to Justin Trudeau's father, former Canadian Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau, described the news of Perry's passing as shocking and saddening. Matthew Perry's passing is shocking and saddening. I'll never forget the schoolyard games we used to play, and I know people around the world are never going to forget the joy he brought them. Thanks for all the laughs, Matthew. You are loved and you will be missed. The official Friends Instagram account posted a tribute to Matthew Perry, referring to him as a true gift to us all. The caption said, we are devastated to learn of Matthew Perry's passing. He was a true gift to us all. Our heart goes out to his family, loved ones, and all of his fans. Actor Michael Rappaport, who had a recurring role on Friends, shared his thoughts about Matthew Perry, describing him as a part of American culture. He tweeted, rest in peace at Matthew Perry. Always so nice, cool, chill, and amp talented. You are a part of American culture and will live on forever. Paget Brewster, who appeared in several episodes of Friends, expressed a sentiment along the same lines. She shared a picture with Matthew Perry, which captioned, my oldest boyfriend. All of us loved Matthew Perry, and I did especially, every day. I loved him unconditionally, and he me, and I'm broken, broken-hearted, sweet dreams, Maddie, sweet dreams. While the sudden death of the iconic Matthew Perry has sent shockwaves in Hollywood into the fan base, Matthew Perry's final Instagram post has gone viral in the wake of his sudden passing. The actor could be seen relaxing in a hot tub with a stunning cityscape as the backdrop. The moon shone brightly, adding to the serenity of the scene. Perry had captioned the picture, Oh, so warm water swirling around makes you feel good, I'm Mattman. Actor Paget Brewster, known for her role as Chandler's girlfriend Kathy in season four of Friends, shared a message on X. I'm so very sad to hear about it, Matthew Perry. He was lovely to me on Friends and every time I saw him in the decades after. Please read his book. It was his legacy to help. He won't rest in peace, though. He's already too busy making everyone laugh up there. NBC, the network that broadcasted Friends, issued a statement that said, he brought so much joy to hundreds of millions of people around the world with his pitch-perfect comedic timing and wry wit. His legacy will live on through countless generations. Matthew revealed that he was just 24 when he got on the popular sitcom Friends. I was 24 when I got on the show, he said in the 2004 book Friends Till the End. I'll be 34 when it's over. And those are really important years in somebody's life. So to do it all in public was difficult. At first, you have the wave of, I'm famous, and this is exactly what I've wanted my whole life. But then you go through the whole recluse stage where you think, I wish everybody would stop staring at me. And then you eventually, hopefully, get through all that. You find things in your life that are grounding, like your family and good friends. Beneath his shining success, Perry grappled with a hidden battle against addiction. He sought treatment in 1997 and then again in 2001. In a candid conversation with Britain's BBC Radio 2 in 2016, he revealed a startling truth. He couldn't recollect filming seasons three through six of Friends. A 2013 People cover story uncovered further details of his struggle. Perry admitted to the abuse of both alcohol and Vicodin, the latter having been prescribed by a doctor following a 1997 jet ski accident. He said, I had a big problem with alcohol and pills and I couldn't stop. 
Eventually things got so bad that I couldn't hide it and then everybody knew. The interesting reason that I can be so helpful to people now is that I screwed up so often, he said. It's nice for people to see that somebody who once struggled in their life is not struggling anymore. In a startling revelation featured in the latest issue of People, the actor disclosed a harrowing near-death experience that occurred several years ago, back in 2018, when he was just 49 years old. It was a moment when his world hung in the balance as his colon ruptured, a dire consequence of drug overuse. This gripping account is also detailed in his forthcoming memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, set to hit the shelves on November 1st. Following the rupture of his colon, he endured a grueling journey, spending a staggering two months in a coma and an additional five months in the hospital to mend his body. Moreover, for nine long months, he had to rely on a colostomy bag as part of his recovery process. He told the people, the doctors told my family that I had a 2% chance to live. I was put on a thing called an ECMO machine, which does all the breathing for your heart and your lungs. And that's called a Hail Mary. No one survives that. The shadows of alcoholism crept into Perry's life when he was cast in the groundbreaking series Friends in the early 90s. A fresh-faced 24-year-old at the time, he revealed, I could handle it, kind of. But by the time I was 34, I was really entrenched in a lot of trouble, Perry said. But there were years that I was sober during that time. The sitcom's penultimate season nine, circa 2002, was the year that I was sober the whole way through, Perry said. And guess which season I got nominated for Best Actor? I was like, that should tell me something. During one of the darkest chapters of his life, the actor, who had been outspoken about his battle with addiction during his friend's days, found himself in a perilous state. He was consuming a staggering 55 Vicodin pills every single day, and his weight plummeted to a mere 128 pounds. He said, I didn't know how to stop, Perry said. If the police came over to my house and said, if you drink tonight, we're going to take you to jail, I'd start packing. I couldn't stop because the disease and the addiction were progressive, so it gets worse and worse as you grow older. Mather also revealed he has overcome his addiction. He said, my therapist said, the next time you think about taking Oxycontin, just think about having a colostomy bag for the rest of your life. And a little window opened and I crawled through it and I no longer want Oxycontin. In the realm of gratitude, Perry imparted a valuable lesson he had learned. Everything starts with sobriety. Because if you don't have sobriety, you're going to lose everything that you put in front of it. So my sobriety is right up there. During his struggle, Perry found unwavering support from his friends co-stars, including Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Jennifer Aniston, David Schwimmer, and Matt LeBlanc. They displayed remarkable understanding and patience during his tumultuous journey, a testament to their deep bond both on and off the screen. Perry said, it's like penguins, penguins in nature, when one is sick, or when one is very injured, the other penguins surround it and prop it up. They walk around it until that penguin can walk on its own. That's kind of what the cast did for me. Having entered rehab approximately 15 times, Perry stood on firmer ground, describing himself as pretty healthy at this stage. He's not only resolved to support those grappling with similar demons, but also overflows with gratitude for the precious gift of life itself. I wanted to share when I was safe from going into the dark side of everything again, Perry said. I had to wait until I was pretty safely sober I, and away from the active disease of alcoholism and addiction to write it all down. And the main thing was, I was pretty certain that it would help people. Actress Olivia Munn paid tribute to Matthew Perry's immense strength in sharing his battle with addiction through an Instagram story. She highlighted the courage he displayed in revealing his personal struggles. In a touching tribute, she shared a series of clips from friends showcasing Perry's comedic brilliance and his enduring impact on fans worldwide. She wrote, he struggled so much with addiction and was brave enough to be open and honest about it. I'm so sorry to his family and friends who are getting this news today. Nothing short of heartbreak Breaking. Rest in peace, Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry's most cherished role is undoubtedly that of the quick-witted and sarcastic Chandler Bing in Friends, a character he brought to life for the entirety of the show's remarkable 10-season run. His reunion with the beloved cast of the series in HBO Max's 2021 reunion special was a heartwarming moment that sent fans into a nostalgic frenzy. Two years before his tragic passing, 
Matthew Perry had a touching reunion with his fellow Friends co-stars. In an emotional moment, Perry lowered his head and embraced himself, his expression somber, as Jennifer Aniston leaned over to offer comfort. This reunion stirred memories of the iconic series that ran for an incredible 10 seasons, premiering in 1994. The show's final episode in 2004 set records with over 50 million viewers. During the reunion, Matthew Perry candidly shared that before landing the role that made him a household name, he had just $11 to his name. His career has hit rock bottom after several short-lived sitcom appearances. He also revealed his struggles with mental health and addiction, including panic attacks while learning lines. Perry's favorite episode was The One Where Everybody Finds Out where the gang humorously uncovered Chandler and Monica's secret relationship, making it a cherished moment in the show's history. In the days leading up to the big premiere, Perry had spilled the beans on Good Morning America. Reuniting this cast again, I knew it was gonna be a really seriously emotional experience, and it has been. In a gripping and emotionally charged interview, Matthew Perry bared his soul on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. This revealing conversation, posted to the Instagram account of the adored Friends actor on November 1st, 2022, provided a window into Perry's deeply personal battle with addiction like never before. Matthew made it clear that he embarked on this path only when he had reached a place of unwavering sobriety and felt secure in his ongoing journey of recovery. His life has been a roller coaster of soaring highs and plummeting lows, and this amalgamation of experiences convinced him that the timing was perfect for harnessing his platform to inspire and lend a hand to others. There's also one of the moments in a 2022 interview with Tom Power in Toronto, where Matthew Perry revealed his thoughts on how he hopes to be remembered after his death. He said, if somebody comes up to me and says, I can't stop drinking, can you help me? Then I can say yes and follow up and do it. I've said this for a long time. He further said, when I die, I don't want friends to be the first thing that's mentioned. I want his work to help addicts to be the first thing that's mentioned, and I'm going to live the rest of my life proving that. In 2015, Matthew Perry received a well-deserved award for his advocacy work from the treatment center Phoenix House. During the event, he shared his thoughts with The Hollywood Reporter, underscoring the importance of his efforts. You can't have a drug problem for 30 years and then expect to have it be solved in 28 days. Following the conclusion of Friends in 2004, Matthew Perry faced the challenge of finding another small screen success. His subsequent leading role in Aaron Sorkin's Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip aired on NBC, but endured a relatively short run, spanning just 22 episodes from 2006 to 2007. In 2011, he co-created Mr. Sunshine, a comedy series, but it met a similar fate, getting canceled by ABC after just nine episodes. Perry's next endeavor, the NBC comedy Go On, had a one-season run in 2013. He then took on the role of Oscar Madison in the CBS reboot of The Odd Couple, alongside Thomas Lennon, which enjoyed a three-season run from 2015 to 2017. Perry expanded his talent beyond television, showcasing his acting prowess in the play The End of Longing in London, starting in 2016. His film credits include notable titles like Fools Rush In, The Whole Nine Yards, Serving Sarah, and Seventeen Again. Matthew Perry's remarkable talent and versatility in playing various roles, along with his gift for bringing laughter, touched not only the Friends cast, but also other Hollywood actors who joined in expressing their heartfelt condolences upon his untimely passing. Sterling Knight, one of Matthew Perry's fellow actors in Seventeen Again, shared a touching tribute, recounting Perry's extraordinary kindness and support during Knight's first big role. He shared a tweet which said, I was so lucky to be in this photo and more lucky still to have been a part of such an amazing cast. My first big job, Everyone was so kind and I made an utter ass of myself in front of my sitcom hero at Matthew Perry. He was kind, genuine, offered advice and inspired confidence. I'll always be a little bummed that we never got to play tennis, but heaven must have needed some sarcasm and he was the best. Actress Laura Benanti, who shared the screen with Matthew Perry in Go On, posted a heartwarming photo on her Instagram. The image captured the cast enveloping him in a heartfelt hug, a touching testament to the deep bond they formed. She shared, Maddie was generous, brilliant, and an unparalleled talent. What a devastating loss. May his memory be a blessing. Brad Garrett, renowned for his role in Everybody Loves Raymond, paid tribute to Matthew Perry on his Instagram, lauding him as both a talent and a warrior. 
Garrett's words echoed the deep respect and admiration that many held for Perry. Such a talent, such a warrior sending love and comfort to his family and friends. Alyssa Milano, Perry's co-star in Dance Till Dawn, shared a poignant moment on her Instagram. She posted a photo and a clip featuring them, a touching tribute to their time working together and a lasting connection. The post captioned, Maddie was always the funniest person in the room and the kindest. He was kind. Maddie, remember when we used to go play bingo at that church in the valley? You made me laugh, that painful kind of laugh, a cry laugh. You made me cry laugh. My condolences to all who loved him. Melissa Rivers, the daughter of the late Joan Rivers and a well-known television host, shared her thoughts about Matthew Perry on her social media account. Notably, she and Perry were high school classmates, and her message likely contained personal reflections on their shared history.